everybody in here outside the tiny house. I've already had my coffee. I've been testing out this new camera of mine and I'm not too happy with it. So I'm going to take some shots um, from the same perspective, angle, lighting, and everything. Uh, and you tell me what you think is better. All right. Hey, everybody in here, sitting here or standing in front of the tiny house. This is now being filmed with the new little mini whatever action cam. It's an Acaso Brave 4. And so now you can compare the two clips and tell me which one you think is better. Hey, pretty chickens. Looks like all of you are out in the yard already. This is being filmed with my phone camera. Have you all laid your eggs? We're gonna have to go see. This is being filmed with my Acaso Brave 4. The sound is not gonna be good. What are you chickens doing? Here we are on my phone, my phone camera. We got two here, and let's look down below. Two here, we need one more leghorn to lay. The Acaso, two eggs, one white, one brown. What do we got down here? Oh, two eggs, one more leghorn egg. This is on my phone cam. Look at all those pretty chickens back in there. They're getting big. All right, let me try the Acaso. Right, there's the pretty chickens. Let's see what they're up to. Let me walk a little bit closer over there and see what's going on with these pretty chickens. They've been dust bathing. I, I saw them dust bathing yesterday. All right, this is still the Acaso camera. Let me try my phone. One benefit of my phone is number one, the sound is better, but uh, when I'm recording in low-light situations, I I can turn on the flashlight. It turns on the flashlight for flash, and it gives us a little bit of light. So, it's okay, Miss Pris. Look at, they're getting feathers already. Look at. Oh, look at that one's coloring. I think there's one of them, one of the black ones that may be a rooster. Hard to spot. Um, it's got a white spot on his head. And they say that that may indicate a rooster. You can't see it. Hello there, baby chickens. Oh my God. Look at him. So I don't know if they've got stuff in their feathers or if that's their coloring coming in. See, the one I'm talking about with the spot on its head is in the back. So I don't know. We're, we're just going to have to wait and see what these chickens turn out looking like and how many roosters I got. All right, Miss Pris, I'll leave you alone. I'm going to show you a few things I've done, uh, some changes I've made because of the chickens. And this is being filmed on my phone. I have brought many of the pots inside this little area here. Just put them, you know, towards the back and whatnot. And, uh, yeah, so I just brought many of them in here because, <laughs> well, I'll show you why in a minute. But, all right, let me grab my Acaso and see what it looks like being shot with that. Here's the Acaso. I already know the sound is horrible. Uh, but, you know, if it turns out I like the footage that I get with this camera, I may just not use sound and do voiceovers later. That might even be funner. But, I'm walking around, it's supposed to have a stabilization thingy. There's Papa. Say hi Papa, you need to be brushed out again, don't you? Alrighty, let me take you around the side to show you what's going on over there. Once again, filming with my camera, and I'm walking. <laughs> and I don't think this camera has any stabilization features, but what I have done is I have made use of one roll of the chicken wire that Doreen sent me. And this here, I've just kind of atta attached it just a little bit because I can open it up and get in and out. I had just bought these little garden stakes and I had actually planned to do something different with them around the garden and I may still do that. But for right now, there's a couple reasons for this. Um, first of all, I know it's not a, it's not a dog fence. It will not keep dogs in. Um, it won't keep dogs out. It won't keep predators in or out. 
I wanted to build this this way because I wanted to have an area for the chickens to free roam, free range um, without going all the way that way because they tend to go to the street. Um, so this kind of stops them and it goes all the way over here to this tree and I can disconnect it easily and get in and out kind of like a gate area. So let me grab the Acaso and see how that turns out. So now we've got the Acaso and um, yeah, like I was saying, we've just got the little you know, it's attached over there so I can easily get in and out. So let's see if this looks a little bit stabler as I'm walking. Um, and I put colorful things out here as well. And I'm just going to leave them like that so that, you know, if Mr. Lucas comes to mow, it, he, he'll know to stop in this area. Um, so this area I'm going to have to be responsible for. I'm trying to get some things grown up here anyhow. Um, I need the grass in this area to go to seed. Because, well, it's bare. That's where Judy was tethered and the area became decimated, so I'd like it to get green again. All right, let's go back to my phone. I've left these two pots out here. Um, oh, yes, look. Those are sunflowers. They're coming up. They're coming up. I've planted some other flowers and that may be them, I'm not sure. Um, I think I put some nasturtium in here too. I don't know if that's the passion fruit vine trying to come up or not, but we'll we'll wait and see. Okay, yeah, and over here, that's just the cayenne that's not growing. I'm going to end up pulling it. I just put that there so the chickens wouldn't get in it because they were free-ranging yesterday and uh, they were getting in to stuff. So I've kind of modified this garden area over here. So let me grab the Acaso and see what you think of that shot. All right, this is the Acaso. And I'm just going to take you a walk around and show you what I did. This is deer netting. I don't like this stuff at all. Um, I don't like it. It's cheap. It's flimsy. I mean, it's just terrible. Uh, so with this here, I just covered up the top of this. I didn't think the chickens would get in, but Romeo hopped up in there scratching around. So put that over the top. This, I did this one this way. Um, just put the four garden stakes up here and uh, just wrapped it around. And this seemed to work okay, um, and I've just kind of pulled it over the stakes. This seems to work okay. Um, the chickens weren't able to get in, but over here, I just put it over these hoops, and you would think that that would be okay, but you can see they have bitten off some of the onion tops. So um, really what I need is for both of these beds to be more like this. What? All right, it's still filming. Okay. Um, this one's okay for now. They weren't, they didn't seem like they wanted to get in here. Um, but you can see some carrots are coming up now. Yep, some little carrots. Some of these things, I don't know what they are. Like the bigger one, uh, I think those are weeds. But the radishes are doing good and the pole beans are doing good. So yeah, this won't work with the pole beans because the pole beans are gonna get super tall. So anyway, all right, let me switch back to my camera. Back on my camera now. Um, I'm just gonna film the remainder of this video with my, with my phone camera because I'm pretty sure I've already made the decision I'm gonna return that, that camera. Um, even though it does have the anti-shake gyroscope feature, so this, this deer netting, the way that it's applied right now, is not going to work. It's just not acceptable. I mean, it may work on that bed, but I need to figure out something else for the rest of it. So what I'm considering doing is getting some more of these posts. And I have another roll of chicken wire that Doreen sent me. And I am thinking of just making a, this whole area enclosed, kind of like in a triangle from here all the way over to here yep and just make an easy gate for me to get in get in and out um, so it won't be such a huge deal and just make this all closed in that way the chickens won't be able to get in unless they're free ranging and then <laughs> I'll have to block block this entire area so that they can't get in um, Elaine had sent me a PayPal donation for some lattices 
So I may need to do that before I do anything else. Um, I think this will work at least temporarily to keep the chickens out. Um, I'm going to have to figure out something else about these onions because they love, love, love to eat them onion tops. But it's it's working okay. They they didn't get out. Oh, here. I got to show you another area. I got a bolster. This area over here, I need to do the same thing. I need to get those little fence post thingies, garden posts, because they're easy to put in the ground. They're easy to take up. I would just put this here to discourage them, if, at least if they're going to come over here until I can get the chicken wire put up and attach it to that tree and get it over here. I may only need one post. Um, I'll at least hear them jumping over this stuff. So I had planned on getting that done today. I may get it done today. It just depends on how long it's going to stop raining. But yeah, a little chicken barrier there. What you doing, Papa? Huh? Let's go check the wrens. I think there were, I don't know, at least four or five baby wrens in there. So, yeah, I guess the mama and daddy are going back and forth and feeding them and whatnot. Uh, I was a little surprised when I poked my head in there and I saw those little chick, those little chickadees. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Anyhow, I think you can see that uh, the action cam is not any better. It's not good in low light situations. The sound is terrible. It's not really meant for sound it's meant for like mounting on a helmet or you know and showing a lot of action and whatnot um, so it would end up causing me more difficulties to try and use that camera so I'm gonna package it back up and send it back to Amazon hopefully get a refund for it so today's just been raining off and on and it's chilly outside um, but everything else is going fine it's everything is fine I'm all calmed down now um, I need to learn a better way to respond to situations like that aside from just getting angry and ventilating to all of you and just spreading that anger and those that bad energy everywhere. So, um, anyhow, I don't know. I think that's all I got for you guys today. <laughs> See you in the next video. for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.